How to Recognize Symptoms of Magnesium Deficiency According to the National Institute of Health, over 65% of all Americans have a magnesium deficiency. That is a staggering statistic. Magnesium is another one of those trace minerals that plays a significant part in the health of your body. It is essential to good health and is critical in over 350 biochemical reactions in your body including bone formation, relaxation of your muscles, energy production, muscle function, activation of calcium and B vitamins, and assists in the proper functioning of your organs, like your kidneys and your heart. Unfortunately, most Americans don't even know they have magnesium deficiency, and it doesn't become an awareness or get diagnosed unless a lack of magnesium gets your attention, causing a problem that cannot be ignored. Ten years ago, out of the blue, I started to experience heart palpitations. If you've ever had these, you know what a scary feeling it can be to feel your heart fluttering and taking on its own rhythm. This will get your attention. To make a long story short, went to the doctor and she determined through analyzing my diet of white bread and white rice that my magnesium levels were probably well under the normal range. Seems that without the proper level of magnesium in your body, different systems are susceptible, including your heart rhythm. She prescribed a magnesium supplement, the heart palpitations disappeared in three days, and I haven't had them since. Now, there's a long litany of possible magnesium deficiency symptoms including migraines, high blood pressure, asthma, depression, anxiety, muscle twitching, even sleeplessness. Yet without an accurate diagnosis of magnesium deficiency, these symptoms can be misinterpreted and treated with medications and surgeries that may not be necessary. Many of these symptoms could just be the result of poor dieting and just not getting needed magnesium into the bloodstream. Fortunately, like heart palpitations, most magnesium-related symptoms can be quickly rectified by simply increasing your levels of magnesium. How can taking common drugs be a factor in creating magnesium deficiency? Common drugs can increase the demand on magnesium, causing an overall shortage of the trace mineral in your body. According to the physician's desk reference, birth control pills, digitalis, cortison, tetracycline, common cardiac drugs, and even insulin can help deplete levels of magnesium, causing magnesium deficiency. If you are taking any of these medications, you may want to consult with your doctor about your drug's impact on your magnesium level. Ways you can easily prevent magnesium deficiency. According to the Livestrong Foundation, Men should consume 420 mg daily, and women should intake 320 mg daily. However, some doctors say the daily intake should be closer to 850 mg daily. Upping your magnesium intake is actually easy to do, either through taking a daily supplement or by eating the right foods. Magnesium benefits in supplemental form are fine, as long as it comes in a proven release form. Use some caution here, because there are some supplements that do not break down in your system, not doing you any good at all. Powder or liquid magnesium are good choices, because they are already in absorption form. That being said, the 2010 edition of Dietary Guidelines for Americans states that nutrients should come primarily from foods. Foods rich in magnesium include nuts like cashews and almonds, pine nuts, whole wheat and buckwheat. Vegetables, especially leafy greens, are a good source too. Chocolate is a great source of magnesium, so preventing magnesium deficiency will certainly have its upside. Whichever way you get magnesium into your system, it's very important that your levels for this trace mineral are the right balance to help all the systems of your body operate at their peak level. Like watching your pH levels. Avoiding magnesium deficiency is an important and critical part of your health, and monitoring your magnesium level must be an important part of your overall wellness strategy. Got it? Understood? Hope this video will give you information about magnesium deficiency symptoms. So, do you want to avoid magnesium deficiency symptoms? Let's try Ease Magnesium. Click the link in description below to learn about Ease Magnesium Spray. Click the link now.
Let's watch what Brett Farrell say about his magnesium spray. My name is Brett Farrell. I'm 30 years old, and about five years ago, Ease Magnesium saved my life. Now, I know that may sound a bit extreme, but I have to tell you, uh, this is a very interesting story because the whole situation started about um, a total of 10 years ago. I was 400 pounds. I was struggling just so bad with my weight. I had my entire life. I was eating uncontrollably, and I just didn't know what to do. Now, what's fascinating is that over about a three-year period, my thing, my one saving grace that I found at the time was understanding more about food. Food is being medicine and um, running. Whether that whatever your thing is to keep you in check and whether that's to keep your um, you know, you in alignment with your eating habits, you in alignment with, you know, your workout routine, just to keep that balance, you know, honestly, um, for me, it was running. But then fast forward five years to where this big pain and problem happened, um, I started getting excruciating knee pain. And it was, uh, it was unbearable at times. I didn't know what to do. It was, it was one of those moments where like your one thing that you found to keep you away and keep you healthy. I mean, I had lost 165 pounds in doing it specifically with running and really not much else. And it was like, okay, now you can't do it anymore because your body hurts. I went to so many different doctors and everybody was just like, you know what, you just, from constant impact, just constantly having you hit the pavement, you impact on the knees, and just basically you beating your body up for that two and a half, three years of losing all of that weight, you just broke down your bones and the cartilage was basically non-existent and it just was, it was bad. Without me having to do knee replacements, it was, it was not looking good. Um, really, that was until I met Ian Clark. And Ian, uh, he, if you're not familiar, he's the founder of Activation Products, which is the company that creates this product called Ease Magnesium. At the time, I just, I kind of had lost hope and I didn't really know what to, uh, where to look and, and what to do. I just kind of accepted it. And, and he says, you know what, um, you should try this. Uh, this is a product that we, that we make uh, here in Canada that is called Ease Magnesium that has been tremendous for uh, any types of joint pain, any types of muscle aches, Charlie horses, um, leg cramps. Um, he's like, you know, we, we have a tendency to help all, all age, people of all ages, so it's, it's not just kind of a, a specific product for any one person, but um, you should try it. He said that he's also heard of some people like in the fitness industry use it for like muscle recovery. So I'm like, you know what, let's try it. I mean, <laughs> what else did I have to lose? And so I, uh, I got a bottle and I just sprayed it onto my knees when I knew for a fact that I was going to be in pain. I just pushed myself through that run and, and it, there was the pain. I sprayed it on and I kid you not, the, it was almost immediately, the, the pain just kind of dissipated. It just kind of went away. And it was this interesting where, it was a kind of a cooling sensation that like it just, the pain just kind of vanished. And I was astonished. Um, and then later on that night, I realized that I hadn't drank too much water and so I was pretty dehydrated and I woke up, and I don't know if you've ever done this, woke up in the middle of the night um, from dehydration and, and have Charlie horses and uh, because you're dehydrated or, or if uh, you worked out so hard that you're just aching and, and in pain. Um, but I just, just so happened to have the bottle right next to, uh, it was in the bathroom. I went and grabbed it, sprayed it on my legs and the pain was gone again. So it was a consistent application and then I started realizing I could do it right before my runs and as well as after and I wouldn't have any pain at all. Oh, and funny thing, so my grandma, I'm very close to my grandmother um, and she is just turning 89 this year and she has the worst Charlie horses at night. And so after I had first kind of experienced my pains and my problems after working out and dehydration and all that stuff, uh, she had basically voiced to me that, gosh, I have leg cramps. And she's like, oh, I have the worst leg cramps. And, and it doesn't even have to be at night. She would just have them 
at the, the oddest occasions. It's like even when she was just sitting in the car. And so I was like, I think I have something for that. And so I ended up giving her a bottle as well and she tried it. She now swears by it. She actually goes every single Friday. She goes dancing for three hours with her community group that's just down the street and they all are now taking ease because each of them they want to dance, each of them they want to go out there, but when she, um, when she realized that when she could take uh, or when she could spray on the magnesium at night and immediately cut out her, uh, her pains, her problems, her, 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 you know, her Charlie horse, it would immediately go away. Obviously, who better to tell than her rest of her community. So it keeps her dancing and it keeps her happy. So it's pretty funny because it's not obviously just for somebody who has knee pain in, the, in their 20s. It ended up working out for somebody nearly 90 years old who just wants to dance. It's pretty amazing. Just speaking from my own experience, and this is my own testimony, Activation asked me to share my story um, because honestly, I think there are a lot of people out there that could um, hopefully benefit from this. Just because if you're like me, you know, you don't want to be stuck 25, not being able to move and you're creaky. I mean, I, I thought I had arthritis. I thought there was all these different things involved, but really um, it was just a magnesium deficiency had come to find out. So again, if, if you think this is beneficial, awesome, I, there should be some type of information just below um, or around this video somewhere. But um, again, my name is Brett. That is my testimony and I hope it helps you. Thank you.